How do you operate a mini excavator? Today, if you don't know how to operate a mini excavator, I'm gonna show you how. I rented this from Service Rentals. Go check out Service Rentals, link in the description. If you need equipment, they've got the equipment and they have a bunch of stuff that you can rent. So go check out Service Rentals. Let's get started by showing you exactly what type of excavator this is. And then I'm gonna show you all the controls and operate it and show you how everything works. Kubota. This is a Kubota U35-4 and it's got a float angle blade right here. So if you need to get rid of some of the ground, move it, this is what you use. You can move that blade up and down. This excavator actually comes with a thumb, so that's very nice. If you need to pick something up like a log, you can pick it up, which I have actually used it and it's so nice. So let's get on, let me show you how to operate it. All right, so I'm gonna hop in. I wanna show you this right here is the key. And this is what you'll need to turn to start the mini excavator. There's a knob right here with a turtle and a rabbit. I'm gonna turn it to the turtle because I don't need this thing full speed ahead whenever I start it. What you're gonna do to start the machine is you're gonna leave this up, okay? Because this right here, you won't be able to start it with it down. I'll show you. See how it won't start? You lift this up, then you start it. After you start it, you can't use anything. Why can't you use anything? Because you can't use your hydraulics until you push this down. You push it down, then you can move some things. All right, now these handles right here and these foot pedals, this is how you're actually gonna drive the forks. Okay, take a look at the forks. here and look at my hand those are called tracks I don't know why I referred to them as forks they're called tracks and you can see those tracks moving look at my hand up here see back and forth this is how you're gonna drive those forks now you see the blade all right that blade is gonna go up and down the way I'm doing that is with this knob right here the one in the back. Down, up. Okay? Whenever you use this thumb in that bucket, you want to set the blade down. Okay? Look at the blade. Set the blade down. Then you can use the bucket by using these two knives. Okay? One brings it down and then back up. Watch me bring it back up. See my hand? Down, up. All right, this right here brings the bucket back and then forward. All right, back and forward. Okay, this right here swings it out and then back in. All right, see how I do that? I go forward, back in with this joystick on the left. Now, if you want to move, go to the right. See what I'm doing? Going to the left, going to the right. You see that thumb? If you want to activate that thumb, push this button. Ox. Okay? Now, right here, opens, opens, and closes. Opens and closes. All right? This right here is how you turn it up. So if you want to go faster, turn it up to the rabbit. If you want to keep it lower, keep it on the turtle. We're gonna start the machine together, okay? So remember, pull this up. Now, turn the key. All right, now, push this back down. All right, now, we go out, back in control our thumb by using the ox. Now we can open that thumb. Now we can pull up our blade. Okay. Push the blade back down. Alright. Pull the blade back up. Now, once you got your blade up, then you can actually fold these out. 
right here and you can put your feet down okay and then if you push both uh, pedals forward you're gonna go straight okay all right and then you'll go back or you can use your hands Blade down, bucket down. Now I'm going to show you how to load it on the trailer. Now I'm going to show you how to load the mini excavator onto the trailer and tie it down. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your vehicle is actually hooked to the trailer. So I'm going to show you that the vehicle is hooked to the trailer. Okay, so it's hooked there and You've got some type of block or rubber wheel chokes. This is a rubber wheel choke, and these are tied together. And we've got two chains, two chains, and then we've got two ratcheting load binders or ratcheting uh, chain binders or tighteners. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take and lower my ramp like so make sure that you line the ramps up with the tracks so that you know when you drive it up it's not going to fall off the ramp i don't suggest that now i can't lower this one because my bucket's in the way so i'm going to go ahead and start the mini x Good job. back it up lift the blade Back it up. I'm going to go ahead and line it up. truck is hooked up, excavator's on, none of the hydraulics can be used because of course we haven't put this down, we haven't released the hydraulics. Alright, probably just going to use my hands, lift the blade, drive it forward. turning this to service rentals Monday at 9 a.m. Now I'm going to show you how to tie this machine down properly and use the load binders. Okay? So my first chain, I'm going to go underneath here, lock it. I'm going to run it through the front blade. I'm going to leave one chain binder here, or load binder, and my other chain and load binder is going to go back here. Let's go finish this front, front chain, 
and then we'll do the back one. And then we'll put up our ramp. We're going to go through this hole in the front blade. We're going to go up here. We'll go through this loop and then tie the chain to itself right here. Okay? Now, we're going to go back over here. I'm going to show you how to use this. It's just like using a ratchet. Pull the slack right here. See how the slack's pulled? We're going to take and put the chain binder one hook on this side of the chain and the other hook while you're pulling it tight on this side of the chain. Now what you're going to do, you're going to, I'm going to unwind it first because I need to unwind, give myself as much slack as possible. Now, I'm going to take and attach the chain binder, load binder. All right, now reverse the direction. It's getting tighter. Now, it's tight. I'll probably go ahead and put my other chain on, and then I'll start tightening my other load binder, ratcheting load binder, and then I'll come back to this one and finish. So this chain, same thing, right here, like this. You can run through this. Doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go to the frame and I'm going to go through this hole and I'm going to tie it here like this. All right. Now, same thing. And before I bring this Mini X that I have rented for around 300 bucks per day back to service rentals, I'm gonna fill it back up with diesel. So now that I pulled the slack, I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up. How do you know it's opening it up and not tightening it? You can see as you turn it, you get more uh, length, okay? So up a little bit. Now change directions. Just push this lever. Boop. Now take it. Put this hook on the chain. Now I'm going to pull the slack right here. Nope, just came off. We'll keep I'll put it on here. Sometimes you got to hold it. See, it'll come right back off if you don't hold it. So, but it's no big deal. Just need to turn it this way. And then pull the slack. See how I'm pulling slack? Put it on. Pull it out a little bit. Start tightening it up. This mach machine weighs 9,000 pounds. So you need to use chains you need to use a ratchet load binder. If you don't, you may lose this machine down the road and I'm sure it's gonna be expensive to replace it. This U35 4 mini excavator made by Kubota is about $50,000. So, I don't think you wanna lose it down the road. All right, it's getting tight. Tight. Then when you're ready to move, you take your wheel chokes, your rubber wheel chokes, throw them on here somewhere. 
lighten this front one up. Now, pull those ramps back up. Put your clamp back on. Same thing. Put your clamp back on. Wheel chokes are out of the way. Machine's tied down been a fun couple of days this machine works great they have great equipment for you to rent and need to pull this up we're good to go if you don't know what fuel you need you need diesel fuel only just in case you didn't know you also need the key to unlock the gas cap so make sure you're fueling with diesel that's what we're doing here diesel only looks like we're full and I ran this thing for probably eight hours and it only cost $17. That's pretty good. So I only burned four gallons. And let me tell you, it wasn't even, I think it was maybe halfway. Probably not even that. It was probably like a quarter of a tank that I burned. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope now you know how to operate a mini excavator. You know how to load one on a trailer and also to tie it down properly. That way you don't lose it going down the road. Thanks for watching. Check out Service Rentals. Hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Now my son wants to drive, so I'm going to let him drive. If he can do it, you can do it. Release the hydraulics. Pull your blade up. You're going to tear the ground up. There you go. Pull your bucket up. You can do it. He's 10 years old. If he can do it, you can do it. If my daughter can do it, you can do it. Been taking the top layer of the grass off with the blades. You drop the blade down and go forward or backwards and 